You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Thank you for viewing this segment. I do hope that you take the time to view others. We here at CNA TV are determined to not let this country forget about the dedication and sacrifices CNAs make every day to care for our nation's frail and elderly. Over six months, that's how long this pandemic has been wreaking havoc on our nation and ravaging nursing homes, taking the lives of many residents and staff members too. CNAs continue to work short-staffed, long hours, no days off, often still six months in without adequate personal protective equipment and without adequate numbers of CNAs to help them fight this battle. This makes me angry and sad and our country must do better. Ricky Maples, a native Floridian, knew from a young age he wanted to work in healthcare. Even in high school, he maintained that dream and joined the Health Occupations of America Club. A former classmate of his said that he was very bright, loving to all, and never met a stranger. In 2006, he found his passion for taking care of others and proceeded to earn certification in nursing assistance. As a CNA, Ricky's career flourished at Clifford Sims State Veterans Nursing Home in Panama City, Florida for more than 10 years. Ricky was a beloved coworker and a dedicated associate with a smiling face. Veterans' faces would light up when he entered the room. They adored him. Ricky truly enjoyed his family and his hobbies included swimming, cooking up a good meal, and even going to work on his days off. Never one to complain after falling ill with COVID-19 and being hospitalized, he was still sending positive and encouraging messages to his coworkers and inquiring about the health of the veterans he so dearly loved and cared for. Ricky, only 34 years old, lost his battle to COVID-19 on September 1st. This is a tragic loss. The Clifford Sims State Veterans Nursing Home released a statement regarding Ricky's death. Part of it reads, Ricky was a shining light who was born to serve others. His veterans loved him, so did our staff members. We remember him sheltering in place with us during Hurricane Michael and helping us through the storm. We've been sharing memories today and are planning a private celebration of life in the next few days at the home with his family attending via Zoom. Since the pandemic started, 11, re 11 residents have died from the virus, but Ricky was the first staff member to die from the virus at the veterans home. Friends of Ricky are encouraging others to take the virus more seriously and to continue wearing a mask. They also take comfort in knowing that Ricky died doing what he loved and taking care of people that he loved. Ricky Leon Maples Jr., 34, of Panama City, peacefully entered the sunset of life on Tuesday, September 1st, 2020 at Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center Ricky leaves behind a mother, father, sisters, a brother, and a host of relatives, friends, co-workers, veterans, and their families who love him very much. Today I ask you, fill your heart with love and honor for Ricky Maples, 
CNA hero. That's right, man.